Hi, everybody. Um, I have been doing some swapping horses the last few days. Um, for those of you that are been watching my channel, you'll know I've got a pair of Belgians and a pair of Pertrons, and um, I usually keep them as that way. But uh, last few days, I decided to swap them around. There's a few reasons for this. When, we, when you have a pair of horses that's used to working with each other, they get used to working on the side that they're on, and it's just like being left-handed or right-handed. You just, it's hard to do both. Very few ambidextrous people around, I guess that's the word. Um, but with horses, you never know when you're gonna have a horse that's uh, lame or sick, and when you do, you have to put another horse with the team, so if they can't work on either side, it causes a lot of trouble. So I try to teach my horses to be able to work on either side. Um, so every summer, it seems like I will swap them around a little while. Even during the winter times, I'll do it sometimes, um, just so they get used to working on either side. It's a beautiful hay day today. Um, I have been trying to finish up my haying, and I'm gaining on it. I'm on my last field. I did have some troubles with the mow machine yesterday, so I didn't get as much cut as I was hoping to but uh, I will head down now with a rake and get some raked up and talk more about what's going on. I see my neighbor is taking advantage of this nice weather and getting some of his haying done also. I'm not sure how many acres it is, but I know he told me it's over half a mile long, this field. It's quite a field. So we're down here starting a rake, but before we go very far on the raking, let's go back the last couple days when I did some mowing in this field. This was the night before last. I came out in the evening and mowed for a little while. I've got uh, Buck and Bill. This is our neighbor's field. It's probably about a 10 acre field. Maybe there's a house, small cabin, and a, and a barn here also. They're just hunters that come over, mostly in the fall. Boy, these two will really cover some ground. I've always known these are two fastest, but I don't know. It's just kind of nice to have a match pair of the blacks and the chestnuts, but um, sometimes it works just to put them, swap them up around, and, and uh, they, do, they do walk fast. So that's good for mowing. A lot of things can happen when you swap sides on these horses that aren't used to being on this side and also being with new horses it does make it hard but one thing that will quite often is common is they tend to push towards each other because they want to get towards the other side and so you have to kind of overcompensate sometimes the lines to keep them spread apart and then after they start getting used to each other and start getting used to walking on that side then you adjust your lines back so that they're working more evenly it's always a a job um, to adjust your lines properly 
but it, uh, it's what you got to do. This field is a quarter mile long, so it's it's quite long. It, it uh, I like these long fields. It was quite warm this evening, but it was still mowing good. I should have kept on mowing for quite some time, but I think I went seven or eight times around and called it quits for the night. And I came back down the next morning and mowed until I broke down. As you can see, I just mowed about half the field. On the left hand side is the side where the house is, and on the right hand side is where I'm going to be cutting for today. Earlier today, I finished up my other field with Lady and Ken. Of course, they are used, more used to working together than Buck and Bill are, so they always do quite well. But I'll jump back. I want to show you some really tall reed canary grass that I cut with them earlier today. So here's Lady and Ken. This field is always real tall reed canary grass. And some years when we have more moisture, it's a lot taller than this, but it's still pretty tall even today. These two horses have worked quite a bit together. They're a lot slower than the other two. Um, this is not Lady's normal side. It's usually Ken's normal side, but I swap them back and forth some too. So they do pretty good. Okay, let's go back to raking. We've actually sold all of this hay. We'll sell it right out of the wagon, so people will, some Amish actually will be buying it, and they have a trucker, and they'll load it right off our wagons and put it into their truck, and we won't have to handle it at all, which is mighty nice. So like I said, this will be our last field we'll have to do. I think total with pastures and hay fields, we've covered about 90 to 100 acres, mowed it all with the horses. I do love hay in at least most days, but I am going to be glad when it's done. I've got to get back to the woods. I've got a lot of logging to do and a bunch of other odds and ends that have to get done. So. It's time for haying to be done. At least for now, I expect we will get rain eventually and then we're going to have some more hay later this fall. A lot of years I have to start my second cutting. It's My second cutting is all ready to cut even before I get my first cutting done, but that surely hasn't happened this year.
So Jim's back from raking and he's just gonna unhitch the horses and it's lunch time for everybody. they're ready for a little noon break actually they're done for the day Jim will be bailing up the hay this afternoon we have an extra little visitor here today um, we, we had some Amish that bought some hay from us and they came to transport the hay and they left their horse in a little um, just a little thing we have that has sawdust in it this morning and I came out to um, the barn to help a lumber customer and he was all crumbled up in a heap he had got his leg around his um, hitch rope and he was in a mess so I was a little nervous because I didn't know him at all and I but I was able to unhook the rope and I tied him here beside the barn actually I tied I retied him in there and he got loose and I came out to check on him and he was in eating hay so I moved him and gave him some hay to keep him happy and help hopefully keep him put Jim's unhooking the horses Better get out of your way, Buck. What? Taking their turns for a drink. <laughs> 